Okay, welcome to this, the last part of the uh, Divide Union walkthrough, where I'll be taking you through a 6D mark question. This is a question about using all of the sources in the paper, putting them together and evaluating, coming to a judgment, again, using all of the sources. So let's have a look at that final question. Um, the main reason for the growing fear of communism in the USA was the Rosenberg case. Study so all the sources, A to F, and use your own knowledge. How far do the sources in this paper support the statement? So how far do all of the sources together support the statement that the Rosenberg case was the main reason for the growing fear of communism? So what I've done is I've got a table again, support and not support. Uh, source A talks about the judge saying that the crime was worth, worth the murder. That definitely supports the, the view that the Rosenberg case was to blame. Source C also talks about the hysteria and fear that the Rosenberg case produced. That goes in the support column too. Source B says the Rosenbergs were innocent, so that goes in the not support. Source D and E talk about the Hollywood 10 instead, so they go in there, they don't support the view that the Rosenberg case was the main was mainly to blame. And source F mentions the Rosenberg case, but also lots of other things, so again it doesn't agree that they were mainly to blame. So we have two sources that support the view and four sources that do not support the view. We now have a wonderful skeleton for uh, for our essay. We can start writing. Some of the sources support this statement, such as sources A and C. For instance, in source A, it says that their crime was worse than murder, sound familiar? And that it resulted in the deaths of 50,000 people and the communist aggression in Korea. This supports the statement that the Rosenbergs um, helped make the Cold War and fear of communism even worse than it was. And we also need now to talk about source C. Source C says that the Rosenberg case caused hysteria and fear and that it was needed in order to create fear in the American people about communism and thus and therefore help to carry on the Cold War. Okay, So I've got my, uh, got my points about both sources um, I very simply just put in the evidence from the sources and then I've just explained how that helps the statement. Okay, so again it's just very much a case of just sticking point evidence explain about the, the about why these things support uh, the statement about the Rosenberg case. And then we go into the case um, case against. However, some of the sources do not support this statement, such as source B. Source B states that the Rosenbergs were innocent, according to the crowds on the street. This does not support the statement as if the Rosenbergs did nothing wrong and were wrongly blamed, then they did not promote a fear of communism. We to also go into the other sources. Source D states that the Hollywood 10 case was more important. For instance, it shows people protesting and marching against the targeting of the Hollywood 10. This shows me that the Hollywood 10 case was more important than the Rosenberg case. Source E also states that actors were good Americans and that they resented the accusation that they 
were not patriotic. This shows me, again, that the Hollywood 10 case was more important than the Rosenberg case in building fear of communism in the USA. Finally, source F mentions the Rosenberg case, but also McCarthy, Huack, and Hiss case. This shows that the Rosenberg case was not the main reason for the fear of communism, but was just one of many. Okay, so again, I've got against the statement, I've got the uh, sources, and I've been able to sort of just do point evidence explain of each uh, source and how it does uh, or does not, in this case, support the statement. Okay, remember every time you make a point in this exam, you need to back it up with detail from the sources. You can see that these paragraphs quite, can be quite long. Um, but you've got everything in there that you uh, everything in there that you need. You're really hammering through and getting this done. Okay, so that's um, all you need to do to be able to get sort of nine or ten marks out of sixteen here. Now, you might be thinking, how, what more do I add? Well, because in order to add an extra additional marks, you need to start thinking about which of these sources are reliable or trustworthy or not. So, source A, B, C, D, whichever one you want, is, is, is not reliable because it's written by an actor, it's only a photograph, it's only a moment in time. So, and then you go on to maybe say source E or F is trustworthy because it's from a history book, it's, it uses both sides, you can really put some analysis in there, in there if you've got time about the reliability and the trustworthiness of the source. But then finally, you need to be able to have a conclusion. In conclusion, the sources disagree, because that's where I've got most of my sources, disagree to a large extent with the statement. Although they mention the Rosenberg case, they also mention other main reasons and factors, including Hiss, Huack, Hollywood 10, and McCarthy. All of these combined to produce a fear of communism. Just a nice snappy conclusion to round it off with and get your 12, 13, 14, and maybe if you've done this bit, 15 or 16 marks out of 16, and that'll be your last ever question that you'll ever have to do in history. Congratulations. Keep working hard. Thank you very much.